49ers news and rumors mailbag coming your way on the 49ers report. I'm your host, Chase Senior. Use the hashtag 49ers or Super Chat us to get your questions answered. We go live every single Tuesday, 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific. Let's kick off this mailbag with this question coming in from EJ Redemption. Would it be possible to hire Alex Smith to help develop Trey Lance? That is not something that I have thought about at all. It's something that I really, really like. EJ Redemption, I really like that idea. Alex Smith has always been a class act. The 49ers coaching staff was always raving about him, helping develop some of the young quarterbacks on the roster when they were on the roster. Andy Reid loved him. Patrick Mahomes has credited him with streamlining his development. Alex Smith doing some pretty good broadcasting work right now, but you can tell he lives and breathes football. So there's no better way to live and breathe football than actually being a coach. So if he wants to not be as much of a family man as he is right now, and he wants to be a coach, I'd love for him to be an assistant. Ruben, what is the 49ers' attitude now after that loss to the Colts? What's the locker room like? It's probably very, very depressing. They've lost four games in a row. Each game has been a different version of ugly. I've been disappointed at how the offense has performed because outside of the opening drive scripts, they've been a lackluster, lame, and inconsistent unit that has lacked explosive plays. So I'm sure that they're very, very frustrated because going into the season, they were favored by Vegas to win the NFC West in a gauntlet of a division. Now they're in second to last place, and the only reason that they're third in this division is because Russell Wilson is hurt. So they're very, very frustrated, I can only imagine. Luke Jones, Chase, you the GOAT. Ha ha, thank you, brother. Do you think we need to get some of our draft capital back and some new scouts? So look, every team across the NFL misses on players. It's just the reality of drafting guys. It's an inexact science. Bill Belichick has missed on countless players over the years, but if you're able to make up for that with either getting guys in the mid to later rounds who are premier players for you and solid contributors for you, and you do have some hits in NFL free agency, it helps make up for some of those misses. Now, am I frustrated with John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan as a general manager head coach duo? Yes, because they're 31 and 39 together in year five, which I don't think is good enough. And they've missed on too many players in the draft over time, which is like why I think you're seeing some of these problems surface right now. But they have also hit on some of these guys. I don't know if you have to get new scouts. I just think you have to make better decisions. 49ers Cody, was it, mis was it a mistake to take Trey Lance over Mac Jones? Well, you know what's funny I'm looking over to my right here. Producer Jack Lauderre has a Patriots hat on right now. So he thinks it was a mistake by San Francisco to draft Mac Jones over Trey Lance. It's way too early to tell. Really, it's all about the, the situation in which you're in. Mac Jones is in a great situation. Josh McDaniels, excellent offensive coordinator. Anytime Tom Brady swears by you, you know you're the real deal, regardless of what you say. You also have the best head coach of all time in the NFL and Bill Belichick, who, yeah, Bill Walsh is right on par with him, but Bill Belichick has more rings. And Mac Jones is thriving and flourishing right now because he's with Josh McDaniels as well as Bill Belichick. So producer Jack, you think it was a mistake? Yup. Yup. Because he likes what he sees so far out of Mac Jones. It's way too early to tell. Hey, you can tell us what you think of Mac Jones and Trey Lance. Was it a mistake to pass up on Mac Jones out of Alabama? Who's better? Type MJ for Mac, TL for Trey Area. Let me know in the comments section. Today's show brought to you by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Chatsports.com slash 49bet. Enter the promo code Niners125. You're able to get a 125% deposit bonus by using that link as well as that promo code. Now, I've lost a lot of money on the Niners trying to bet on this team over time because they continue to be awful against the spread and they're losing a lot of games having lost four straight. Can we redeem ourselves and make some money back taking the Niners minus three? If you think they're going to lose, take the Bears plus three. That's the spread for this game on Sunday. Over under at 39 and a half, which is so, so low. Get those bets in. Chatsports.com slash 49bet. Enter the promo code Niners125. 
Gamer dude, Chase the Goat, how many Bosa sacks versus the Bears? Justin Fields has too many sacks. Justin Fields has been bad when it comes to situational football. He's held the ball far too long. The pass rush has been able to get to him because of that, and he's tried to extend plays in a pretty immature fashion. Let's say Nick Bosa gets two sacks. Let's hope so. KKV, if the 49ers actually fire Kyle Shanahan, do you think Ayuk will be more involved in the offense and could possibly be better? Man, this Brandon Ayuk dilemma is just something that I really don't understand. I know that his average yards per separation compared to last year is down a year, and that's a concern. But there are ways that you can get his confidence up and just get him the football. Use him in jet sweeps. Use him with bubble screens and put the ball in the hands of your playmakers. I'm not sure he's more involved if Kyle Shanahan gets fired. This is what I do know. Kyle Shanahan, figure it the F out and get him the damn football. Salem Love, is Kyle's ego ruining this team? We were having this conversation in the chat sports studios earlier. I think so many times we see these NFL head coaches overthink things and they just overcomplicate things. And sometimes their ego gets in the way. Like if Kyle Shanahan is frustrated with Brandon Ayuk's effort or work ethic, he's going to be like, you know what? I'm not playing this guy. I'm not giving him the football as much. He's going to be stubborn about that. When in reality, sometimes he just needs a confidence boost. And if Ayuk goes out there and has a monster game, maybe his effort will be better. Is Kyle's ego ruining this team? He does have an ego. There's no question. Reggie Pryor, why haven't we heard from John Lynch? He's actually pretty vocal as compared to other general managers in the sport. He talks a lot and does a lot of radio appearances. He goes on KNBR all the time, and he sits down with Matt Mayoko of NBC Sports Bay Area on a consistent basis. So he's readily available a lot. Big Boy 24, if Kyle Shanahan got canned, who would be your top replacements, and would you rehire Jim Harbaugh? You know what's actually hilarious is when the Niners on Twitter posted the final score graphic of them losing to the Colts, there were a bunch of hidden replies, replies that were hidden by the 49ers account. All of them were to the likes of bring back Jim Harbaugh, which I think is hilarious. I don't think Jim Harbaugh is going to leave Michigan for San Francisco. I think he clashed a lot with the Yorks. I think that he has found greener pastures. He's with his alma mater now. Michigan is a top five team. They have an opportunity this weekend to take down Michigan State in a monster, monster game. And I don't know if Jim Harbaugh is going to leave Michigan where he's making a decent amount of money to come back to San Francisco. If it, dis if it did happen, though, uh, it would be absolutely fascinating. If Kyle Shanahan were to get fired, who would you want him to be replaced with? Drop some names in the comment section. I'd be looking at guys like Kellen Moore. I'd be looking at Joe Brady. I'd be looking at a guy like Doug Peterson, who I think could establish a very good culture and out-coached Bill Belichick a couple of years ago. Those are a few of my candidates. Alpha Doctor 20, 49ers trade for Danny Dimes as a wide receiver. That's great because he made that one-handed catch this past weekend against the Carolina Panthers. It was kind of OBJ-esque. Luke Jones, should we try and get some draft capital back? How are you doing that, though? Because to get legitimate draft capital back, you'd have to part ways with a legitimate player. You'd have to trade away maybe a Javon Kinlaw, a Nick Bosa, Mike McGlinchey, a Fred Warner, a player to the likes of that, or maybe a Lakin Tomlinson. But Lakin Tomlinson is very valuable to this team. A lot of teams looking for offensive line play. You give up a player to get draft capital back. They have to live with that, uh, with that decision to give it away to take Trey Lance. That's just the reality of it. Quano boy, how would you feel about trading for Mariota? Marcus Mariota is one of the better backups in the NFL. I think it's been proven that he is not a long-term starter. Marcus Mariota had a weird situation with the Tennessee Titans where I don't think he had a coaching staff that really coached him to bring out the best of his abilities. I want to see RPOs all the time. I want to see a bunch of read options. I want to see Marcus Mariota in an offensive system that's basically identical to Oregon. Uh, you know, when he was in the mix for the Heisman Trophy. So trading for Mariota as a backup, 
maybe, but you're paying him a lot of money. Him as your starter, no chance. EJ Redemption, after Thursday with Dearness Johnson ba uh, balling out, could we get a trade for him or Hunt? And what would a trade look like? I think Kareem Hunt is not going to be traded. I think Kevin Stefanski really likes having multiple backs at his disposal. He also realizes, I'm not paying DeAndre Johnson anything. So to have him on the roster is very cost efficient. They just paid Nick Chubb on a long-term contract extension. Hunt is really, really affordable. So if he were to be had in a trade, I wouldn't hate it. Like his pass catching ability, like his running ability as well. I think you could get him for like a mid-round pick. NFL trade deadline coming up on November 2nd. It's really a big game this weekend for the Niners on Sunday against Chicago because it could decide whether or not they buy or sell at the NFL trade deadline. What do you want them to do? Type B for buy, type S for sell. Digital Devil what does our future hold for us in five years with all these contracts and quarterback cornerback problems because Lance ain't the answer? Well, if Trey Lance is the answer and he ends up living, to, living up to the expectations of being that number three pick, then the 49ers are going to be in a good spot. As long as you have a legitimate quarterback, you're going to be competing year in and year out. Look across the landscape of the NFL. Look at all the best teams in the NFL right now and take a look at our power rankings on Chat Sports, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. All of those teams... They have a good quarterback. So if Trey Lance is great, they're going to be just fine. Christian, do you think the 49ers offense needs to rebuild or do you think the whole team needs to rebuild? I think it's way too early to say that this team needs to rebuild. Look at the offensive line. You have Trent Williams and Alex Mack. They're going to be good for the next couple of years. Lakin Tomlinson, very serviceable guard. I need to see something from Aaron Banks. Right tackle, a little bit of a question with Mike McGlinchey. But Debo Samuel, really good player. George Kittle. Good tight end. Brandon Ayuk, hopefully he gets it together. If Trey Lance is very good, that's a great sign. Defensively, Nick Bosa, Javon Kinlaw, D. Ford, Eric Armstead, Fred Warner. There are good players on this team, so I don't think you need to fully rebuild. And in the NFL, you could really turn around your sinking ship very, very fast. John, can Jalen Moore transition to right tackle if we let McGlinchey walk? Yeah, for sure. Jalen Moore was actually very, very good on Sunday Night Football against the Indianapolis Colts, and he was tested against some really good edge rushers. Jalen Moore, the reason why he was drafted by San Francisco, he can play tackle, he can play guard. He was a left tackle at Western Michigan. They drafted him thinking he was going to be a guard, but he can play multiple positions across the offensive line. That's very, very valuable. 